Today we'll be showing you the Nasser multi-profile machine on the job site and then we're going to be running out the gutter and installing it on the house. Hi guys, welcome to the video. I'm Jens from Multiform Gutters here with New Tech Machinery. Uh, today we're going to be showing you uh, how we pull up to the job site, how we set up the Nasser Multi Pro gutter machine, how it runs out, and how we make the gutter, and also how we're going to be installing it on the house. Uh, thanks for watching. Um, big shout out to Revere Filming Crew for coming out today and doing some drone shots, making this video possible. When you pull up to a job site, the big thing is coming to the job site prepared. So when you pull up with your machine from NASA Multi Pro gutter machine, you come to the job site fully set up. You open your doors, the workstation folds out, no setting up, silly little planks or setting up your saw, trying to adjust everything. Everything is always in place every time. Usually what we do is when we come to a job site, we go around the house, we get out our ladders, we set them up in the specific locations to measure. Uh, we get power, we put out all the gutter stands, everything gets put in place and we're ready to go. Once we got the ladder set in place, uh, we start measuring the house. Uh, we write them all down perfectly on this piece of paper that we got in front of us so you know exactly where all the locations are of your outlets, you know exactly where the corners are. Once we measure the gutters, one of the most important things is the outlet. and We have to measure the outlet by lining it up with the big O that comes out of the ground. We usually measure the distance from the outside of the wall to the end of the fascia and then we walk down to the big O and we measure that distance that we got from up there and we line it up perfectly straight. The most important thing to remember when measuring gutters is that when measuring an end cap to end cap piece, you want to leave about a quarter inch so that after putting on the end caps, you have about an eighth play on each side and you can perfectly adjust the gutter. And when measuring an outside to an outside, you want to add about a sixteenth maybe to the gutter because when putting it up there, you want to have a little gap so that the other gutter can slide in behind. When measuring an inside to an inside corner, you want to make it pretty much perfect bang on so that when you put it up, it fits perfect. Once that is done, we take the clipper, we check the measurements, and we start running and cutting out the gutters. On this house today that we're going to be doing gutters on, there will be fascia board. The good thing about the Nasser Multi Pro machine, it has a depth, very good depth, so that means you can install gutter without having the fascia board installed, which we will be showing you on the next video coming up. Jens, my boss, he cuts the gutter pieces and while he's cutting them, he places them down after they're finished. I come and I pick them up and I walk to the house and I put them on to wherever we took that measurement from. A very important thing is when you're doing corners, make sure that your flaps are long enough. Don't make them too short or don't also make them too long. If you make them too long, you have to use way more silicone to seal it. Um, and if you make it too short, you run a risk of maybe getting leaks or um, not getting in the screws that you need to put in the face and the top of the gutter. If you have any questions about uh, how to prepare a corner, you can check out our previous videos. Uh, they will show you and explain to you exactly how we cut corners on the miner saw. When in installing a gutter, you climb up the ladder and you gotta first make sure your ladder is in the center so that you don't lose balance and keep the gutter in one hand, I guess, and drill with the other. And when you walk up the ladder, you wanna make sure that when it's an end cap, end cap piece, you wanna put the center as high as possible or at the top of the fascia board. And then you can go from there and adjust to quarter set to half inch, whichever you need to make the gutter piece slope. If you have an end cap to a corner piece, you gotta keep in mind where the outlet is gonna be. And if it's a multiple corner pieces, then you have to make sure that each piece is slightly sloping, not to make it noticeable, but just slightly. And when putting an end cap to corner or corner to corner, when you put it up, there's a flap on one of the ends. And when you put up the gutter piece, you have to kind of make sure the flap touches the fascia and then maybe go back like a 16th so that the other gutter piece can slide in perfectly in behind it. 
The one feature that the NASA Multi Pro machine has that it can run various amount of profiles. And people ask, how can you install end caps on different types of profiles? Well, the answer is pretty easy. You take your flat benders and you flatten the last half inch of your gutter and it just pretty much slips on fairly nicely. And then once you crimp it on, it sits flush. You don't even see that it was crimped. Once we gone around the whole house, installed every piece of gutter, and we're finished installing everything sloped correctly, uh, we go back with some thermoplastic sealant. Uh, right here in, uh, in our area, we use Tremco 830. It's a very good thermoplastic sealant, and we apply it to every corner, outside and inside corner. Once we're finished the job, uh, we usually try to go around and pick up everything that belonged to us. Everything, all the little cuts that we maybe did, uh, maybe tubes of silicone laying around. Usually that's a very good thing to do is clean up after yourself. That makes a very good impression for a customer. Well, we thank you very much for watching this video. Hopefully this video was very helpful for you. I don't know how you guys do your gutters in your area, but this is how we do it. In closing, I want to say, use the Master Multi Pro machine. It works great. Big shout out to Revered Films for coming out with their drone and doing some amazing shots. And I want to thank everyone today for watching this video. Please leave a thumbs up. Thank you.